Ashley. All right, we're just getting set up. We have about six minutes here. So just get settled in. Um, yeah, get all your stuff. And uh, let's just have a little chit chat for about five minutes. My name is Stacy. We're doing yin restorative yoga today. And we're gonna be using some props if you have them. So I have the yoga mat, um, yoga blocks. So I'm doing uh, two blocks if you have them. If you don't, no big deal. And then I also have a couple yoga blankets. So these are like thick cotton, like those Mexican blankets that are made, uh, they're woven really densely so they have a nice support. So I like to use these. And then I have um, a bolster, a yoga bolster, looks like a big pillow. And if you don't have any of these things, um, you can just use like a sofa pillow, probably better than a bed pillow because bed pillows are so squishy. Um, you can maybe use like a big um, dictionary for a block. And these, these items are just for you to, um, it helps support the body because the yin yoga, yin restorative yoga style is uh, basically we get into the poses and then we just sort of hold and we relax, the body relaxes and releases into the pose. So it's nice to have um, some props to help support the body so that we could um, maintain, like hold comfortably. And we uh, normally hold the poses from like three to, three to five minutes. It could be three to 10 minutes or one to 10 minutes, depending on where you're practicing and what the focus is. Today we're gonna do a, ma a maximum, of, I think five minutes per pose, maybe like one to five minutes. So I'll talk you through it. And I decided to focus on legs today, legs. So I don't know about you, but for me, um, doing a lot of extra leg work recently since the, uh, the quarantine. So we're doing a lot of um, cycling and uh, power walking, like a light jog. I'm not a super jogger, but I do a little bit of light trots. I, I call them the Stacy Shade Trot. <laughs> uh, just a little light cardio running, lots of cycling. Um, what else have we doing? Yoga, obviously, yoga. Doing my own class with you, and then also um, taking a lot of other people's classes. So it's kind of fun, you know, everyone's, a lot of people are doing live stream yoga from all over the world. So I'm reconnecting with a lot of um, old friends from all over the world and also taking a lot of new classes. So I'm really making the best of this time, this quarantine time, and I hope you are too. Okay, so it's just all about keeping the mind calm and the body open. Those two things, calm mind, open body. So let's see how much time we have. Okay, we have two minutes. Hey Steve, hi Nina, hi Orly, oh my gosh, good friends. Nice to see everybody. So um, yeah, we're about two minutes out. I'm just gonna remind you for my Instagram friends, happy Monday, Steve. For my Instagram friends, we're gonna be turning this off and then back on right before we start, just because we only have 60 minutes for Instagram. Like on the dot, like 60 minutes on the dot. So like the pre-class chit chat, we don't have time for on the actual live. So just keep that in mind. And then if you do have Facebook, um, the streaming tends to be easier on Facebook. But no worries, whatever works for you. Okay. So what else is going on? Monday, we're completing, right, week six here in Las Vegas. We're completing week six of quarantining at home. So it's a pretty long time. <laughs> Starting week seven tomorrow, it's just insane to think that, oh, the day the world closed. Very, um, yeah, we're living through it. Living through it. Okay, so we're just under one minute out, so I'm gonna take Instagram off and then restart Instagram. So come on right back, okay? All right, and then Facebook, we're good. Instagram, you guys back? 
All right. Okay. All right. Hello, Mr. Wacky. Wacky Jr. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's right at three o'clock. We have 60 minutes, so welcome. My name is Stacy Shea. I'm live streaming here from Las Vegas from my, my foyer, my entry in the, in the house here. And um, today's class is again restorative yoga, and we're going to be focusing on legs. And so we're going to, most of these poses, I mean, we, the poses will address other parts of the body as well, but we're mainly focusing on the legs. And the legs um, consist of four quadrants. So we have the quadricep, which is the front of the leg, the hamstring, which is the back of the leg, the um, adductor muscle, the inner inner leg, inner thigh, adductor, and then adductor IT band is on the ex external side of the leg. So we're going to be addressing all four sides. And I chose this because, well, I need it for sure. Super tight legs right now because I started doing a lot of cycling, which is amazing. I love it so much. Um, but we need to just, I need to open, I'm sure you guys do too. So anyway, we're going to get started. We are just going to start. Let's start seated. I like to sit on a block. Or you can take a blanket. Just start seated. And the reason why I um, sit on something is so that my hips can be higher than my knees. Okay, and then I keep the, I encourage and maintain the natural lordotic curve of the spine. So if I don't sit on anything, I tend to sort of dump into the lumbar and hunch forward. It's just kind of natural. So I want to undo that and I want to lift up. So I'm going to use the block or the blanket under the hips to encourage that. And I like to line up my heels. You guys can cross your shins, whatever is comfortable. Okay, so get into a comfortable seat and just close your eyes. And begin to settle in. Begin to slow and even your breath. Just bringing yourself into your body. Taking this next 60 minutes here to focus on yourself. So begin to scat from the lower vertebra. So the hips are heavy into the block or the blanket, and then you're going to pull the belly in and lengthen long and tall through all sides of the torso, lifting up in between each and every vertebra, creating more space. So think of uh, lifting front body, back body, and sides of the body evenly the best you can. And lift your sternum up, 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 up. Drop your shoulders down, and then long neck. So it's a very slight tuck of the chin, not too much, but just to elongate um, the cervical vertebra. Okay, so just imagine that your head is stacked right on top of your spine. So nice and perpendicular, the best you can. So a couple more breaths here, just relaxing the face, and then softening the brain. Thank yourself for making it here today to your yoga mat, taking time for you. Let's take one big breath right into the heart center, fill up the lungs. Exhale, stay tall, stay lifted. Good, another big breath right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs. Pause, hold the air, retain the air at the top. And then slowly exhale, slowly release the air out of the nose. Staying tall, staying lifted. Let's do one more big breath right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs, full lungs, and hold it at the top. Retain the air. Stay tall, stay lifted. And then slowly exhale. Blink your eyes open, inhale, arms up over your head. Stretch your arms up, interlace your fingers, and press the palms away from you. So you're stretching through the fingers and the wrists. So your tailbone is long, belly in, long spine, and you're firming the triceps into the midline, and you're pressing your palms up, 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 up. Stretching through the wrists, lengthening long, and stretch and reach and stretch and lengthen. 
keep the, the right arm up. We're going to just drop the left arm down and then reach up, 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 up with the right arm and then gently over to your left. Just come down gently. So nice side stretch. So from the right hip through the right waist, the right rib cage, side body, shoulder, arm, all the way through the fingertips. Reach and stretch. One more breath here. And inhale, come on back up. Keep the left arm up, reach up, and then drop the right arm down. So you want to keep the left arm reaching up as you drop your right arm down. Now, depending on which social media platform you're on, I may be opposite to you. Okay? So, not to be confusing. So, root the left hip down, belly in, stretch the left waist, the left rib cage, the shoulder, the armpit, the arm all the way through the left fingertips. Reach and stretch. Stretch and lengthen. One more breath here. And come on up. Good. Okay, now drop the head down. Chin to, to chest. Gently bring the head over to the right. So right ear to right shoulder. And then we're going to come back down through center. Chin to chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Coming back down to the center. Right ear to right shoulder, pause. Back over to the center. Left ear to left shoulder, pause. Come right back down to center and slowly bring the head up. Okay, get the block out of the way. Come on to all fours. So move your props out of the way, coming on to all fours. Tabletop position, hands shoulder distance, knees hip distance. We're going to inhale, belly down. Coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up, open the front body, and then we exhale. Tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen, and really round the spine. Inhale, belly down. Coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, cow pose, and then exhale. Tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen, and really round the spine. Let's do two more like this. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, tuck your chin. Pull the navel to the spine, round the spine. Last one here, inhale, big breath. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your spine, tuck your chin, and then knee back in neutral. We're going to do thoracic circles. So lift the, um, the spine up, and we're going to draw um, the spine over to the right, all the way down the right side, dragging the spine down over to the left, coming up the left side, over to the right. So thoracic circles, like you're tracing a big barrel with your torso articulating through the joints. We're going to do one more on this side. So nice, big, giant barrel rolls. And we're going to meet back in the center. Now we're going to take it to the other side, up and over to the left, down the left side. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what it feels like. So articulating nice, big movements over to the left, down the left side, driving to the right, up the right side. One more on this side. Really feeling what's going on in your spine today. Meeting in a neutral spot. Good. All fours. Stretch your right leg back. You're just up on the half toe. Let's roll forward and back. So you're sort of warming up through the, the arch, the ball of the foot, the ankle, the Achilles, the calf. Okay. Now quiet that down. Lift the right leg up. So flex through the right heel. Reach through the center of the right heel. Now you're nice and buoyant from on your um, out of the bottom leg hip. So the left leg hip, you're not dumping down, you're lifting up and out. Use your core, add your left arm. So you're reaching back with your right heel, stretching forward with your left arm. Reach and stretch and lengthen three. Holding two. And when release, let's take it left side. So come up on the half toe, left side. Rocking forward and back. So releasing through the, the ball of the foot, the arch. The calf, the Achilles. Okay, quiet that down. Flex the left foot, lift the left leg, leg high. So you're firming the left inner thigh up, stretching the back of the left knee up, leg long. Use your core along spine, add the right arm. Reach back with the left heel, stretch forward with the right arm. Lengthen and stretch, fire up the core. Nice and buoyant out of your right leg hip. Stretch and reach one more time. Release. Let's do the other side one more time. Right leg up, left leg, left arm up. So spine stabilization. 
Okay, you can add on from, if this is okay, if this is enough, you can just hang out here. If you want to add on, you bend the right knee up, lift the left arm up, grab the left foot behind you, kick, or the right leg, and kick the foot up, lift the chest up. Kick the right leg up, lift the chest, the heart, kick and reach, reach and kick, release, lengthen long, and we come down. Let's do the other side, left leg up, right arm up. So right away, using your core. Now to stabilize, you have to press down at the right, top of the right foot, right shin, press down to stabilize. Press down with your left arm. Now you're gonna either hold here, or you can add on, bend the left knee, reach the right arm up, and then grab the left foot. Kick the left leg back to lift the chest up. So the kick is opening up the front body. Kicking and reaching. Kick for three. Breathing for two. Kick one more time and release. Come out of it exactly the opposite way you went in. All fours, tuck the toes. We're going to hover the shins one inch. Hover the knees, the shins. So while we're here, you're firing up the core. Reach the tailbone back, belly and heart and sternum forward, long neck. Holding three. Firing up the core for two. And one. Press up into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, inverted V shape. Let's take the feet wide, as wide as the yoga mat. So let's just gently pedal out the feet. So you can straighten the right knee, the left knee, faster or slower. Okay. Quiet down the pedaling. Press the palms firmly. Lift the hips and the tailbone up. So come up high on the toes, as high as you can. You're reaching your hips and your tailbone way, way, way up. Okay, so hips high, elbows straight. You're, pre you're energetically pressing your chest to your thighs. Bend your knees a lot. Lift the hips up higher. Press the chest to the thighs. Lift the hips up higher. Keep the hips nice and high. Re-straighten the legs and press the feet flat. Breathing. So with the legs wide, it's, there's more of a broadening quality of, in the sacrum. Okay, so think, pressing the centers of the heels down, outer ankles firming in, outer thighs firming in. Keep your feet where they are. You're gonna walk the hands back to your feet, soften the knees, and we're just gonna hang forward. So actually, heel toe your feet, distance. So heel toe your feet hip distance. Interlace your arms, your elbows, and hang down like a rag doll and just sway right and left. You can also shake your head yes and no to release the cervical vertebra. Breathing. Just allow your body to spill over the legs. You can soften the knees. Okay, from here, you're going to keep the knees soft. Pull the belly in and we're going to gently roll up one vertebra at a time. And your head comes up the very last thing. Okay. All right. So feet together. We're going to do some half sun salutations. So stand up nice and tall. Long spine, belly, and inhale. Arms over your head. This is Ardha Sri Namaskar. Palms flat. Look up. Exhale. Cactus the arms. Open the chest. Slide back. Bend. Inhale, lengthen long, stretch up. Exhale, diving for a super long spine, belly in, nice and slow. Hands on the floor next to your feet or maybe on your shins. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse long spine, root to rise. Coming all the way back up. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Two more like that. Inhale, big breath, arms up. Exhale, cactus, slide back and lift the chest, the heart up. Inhale, lengthen long, stretch up. Exhale, diving forward, taking more space every time. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine, coming all the way back up. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Last one, let's do it. Inhale, big breath. Full breath, nice and slow. Exhale, cactus. Big movements. Inhale, lengthening long, belly in. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
bicep forward, fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Come in all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Okay, so we're going to just go right into, actually, let's take, a, take the feet wide, point the toes out, and let's go into a garland pose. So take your hands on your hips to begin with, and we're just going to drop the hips. The toes have to be pretty wide, okay? And you drop the hips and the tailbone straight down. Okay. So very important. So then you can add your elbows to your knees. Okay, now very important that the patella is lining up with the second toe on either foot. You always want to line up. You want to track your knee, your kneecap to the second toe, second to third toe on each foot to be really alignment correct. So drop the tailbone down, belly in. And then maybe if you can, you bring your hands into prayer. Your thumbs at your lower sternum. Lift the chest up. So opening up the hips. Hold it here for two more breaths. Okay, place the hands down and then straighten your legs. Hands on your hips, flat spine come up. Okay, now we're going to just go ahead and sit on the floor. So if you're just coming in, welcome. We're doing yin restorative 60 minutes leg focus on legs today. We're going to start with butterfly. Butterfly is where the feet are together, soles of the feet are together, and then you're just open, the knees are open. So you can choose. You can bring your feet closer or farther. Now for some of you, if you want to place a blanket or a bolster under your hips, if you're not quite as bendy, if that's a little bit more comfortable, you can do that. Okay. Or if you're really bendy and you want to um, have more of a challenge, you can place your feet on top of some blocks. Okay. So let's just figure that out. And then we're going to lift up, lengthen, and we're going to slowly come forward. Just tune to a forward fold very gently. So keep breathing. You have to bring your breath with you all the time. Okay, and then from here, once you're comfortable, you can try to rest your forehead on your, you can rest your forehead on your feet, or you can create a pillow with your hands, or if uh, we need to place a blanket to lift the floor up, whatever you need to do, okay? So figure that out, and let's settle in here. And then if you like, you can close your eyes and tap back into your breath. Taking long, slow, smooth inhalations through the nose. And long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose. Notice which areas of your body are a little bit tight or a little bit resistant as we come into the pose. And as we stay and we hold and we breathe, the body will magically open up. We have about two more minutes here, so just luxuriate in the opening, the stretch.
Notice which areas of your body have already opened up. Notice which has become less resistant and soft. The muscles want to decongest and they want to open. We just have to give them the opportunity to do so. The space and the opportunity to open. Let's hold this one for three more full breaths. As you're ready, we're going to gently come up, go slowly, and then uh, let's bring the legs forward and we're just going to shake them up. Our next pose is a straddle, okay? So there's some variations. So like a full straddle is your legs are open. It doesn't really matter if you want them more wide or less. It's just up to you and it depends on your body. Okay? Oh, you're so sweet in the hearts. Okay, so we're going to, this is the full straddle, okay? But if this is not available, that's okay. You can place um, some blankets under your knees, maybe blankets in front of you, or maybe a bolster or a big pillow in front of you to lay on, which is, this is actually really comfortable. Or if you want to just kind of, it depends on you, so I'm trusting that you are keeping it on uh, track of your form. Okay, so whatever you need to do to, to lift the floor closer to you. Or not. Maybe you're super open and you're good. Or you might want to start with some props and then you can subtract as we go. Okay? So you don't have to flex your feet or point your toes. I mean, you can if you want just a little bit to warm them up. But then just let the feet relax and the legs be soft. And then we're just going to settle in. You can close your eyes. Straddle pose. So just kind of, once you figure out what you can do and what you can maintain and hold, just make up your mind that you're going to stay in the posture, okay? Like that's the thing. Just to calm the mind and the, to use your breath, your ocean, oceanic wave breath. To sort of allow you to stay into the pose. And then already, we've only been here not that long and the body's already open. Long, slow, smooth inhalations through the nose. And long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose. So you want to focus on like unholding the body. Just allowing the body to melt and relax into the pose. So instead of dynamic muscular engagement, we're doing the opposite. Soften into the shape.
Now, maybe for some of you, you can take your props out and go a little deeper. Okay, so if you're able to do that, you can go ahead and do that. Staying here for one more minute. So that's about six breaths. If you do long, slow, smooth breaths. One more full breath here. And then as you're ready, let's take it slow. We're gonna come on up. So be gentle and take it slowly. Okay, and then from here we're gonna help our legs together. And then we're gonna shake the legs up. Our next pose, caterpillar. So again, you can take your props as needed. Some of you might want to take a bolster or a rolled blanket under your knees. Or some of you may want to place a bolster and a couple blankets on top of your legs so that you can create a shelf. Okay? So different variations. Different things to do. Or maybe you don't need any of those things. Actually, for this, I, I recommend, even if you're bendy, to um, kind of create a little bit of support for yourself. So it's just, it's gentler. It's nice. Okay, so caterpillar, you're just going to unfold the legs. And we're just going to kind of come forward and we're going to relax. So this reminds me of when I was in grammar school and I would be so tired all day in school and I would take a nap on the, the desk. I would cross my arms and place my forehead down. Take a five minute snooze. Hopefully nobody noticed. Start with some props. As you stay and you hold and you breathe, the body opens up and then you can take out a couple props to go deeper into the pose. And how that works is that there's the fascia around 
all of the muscle fibers, every single muscle fiber has a, an encasing fascia, a thin membrane around each muscle fiber. And the muscle fibers around muscle fibers around muscle fibers, there, there's, there's billions of them in each muscle. So when we stay in a stretch and we hold and we breathe, the uh, debris or the congestion that accumulates between the muscle fiber and the fascia gets released. So it's that stiff accumulation of the debris or the congestion that gives us stiffness in the body and hinders our range of motion. Fascia releases quickly and the muscles soften with a little bit of time and breath. about one more minute here. Another option for prop usage on the caterpillar pose is to place a block in between your calves under your forehead and just rest your head on the block. this for one more full breath. And then from here we're going to slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Okay. Bend the knees. Place the feet flat hip distance. We're going to bring the hands about 8-10 inches behind the hips. And we're going to press up for a reverse tabletop. So press the legs down, the feet down, the hands up, lift the hips up, the chest up, lift up, three, hips up higher for two, lifting up for one, come down slowly. Okay, next pose, we're going into swan, so we're going to keep the right leg forward, and we're going to swing the left leg back. Okay, so this is also known as single pigeon for some of you that are familiar. So the swan pose now you can, if you're not as open, you can bring a block or a blanket under your right buttock to sit your hip down, okay? This is, uh, the, the left leg will be stretched long and back. So adjust your props accordingly. Or maybe you want a bolster or a blanket under your right hip. Okay, and then from here we're gonna try to like unravel the left buttock forward. So you kinda wanna try to square the the hips, the left hip forward. Okay, we're going to stay upright at the beginning. Okay. Now you can adjust how challenging this is for you by.
by how far away your your right shin is. So if it's closer, if your your right heel is closer to your pelvis, it's not quite so intense, and then further away is needs to be more intense. Okay, so let's just figure that out and breathe. I want to hold this here for one minute, right here, okay? Full swap. You can close your eyes. So we're starting with the chest lifting. that left hip flexor and a giant uh, stretch in the right buttock and the right um, adductor and abductor muscle. From here, as you're ready, we're going to just come down forward. So we're going to walk the hands forward into going into a sleeping swan. So again, you can bring your props with you if you'd like to lean on them. Okay. So whatever you need to do. Yeah, or maybe if you're more open, you place one hand on top of the other. Place and create a pillow with your palms. And rest your forehead on the back of your palm. The top of your hand. Breathing. And then as you're ready, we're going to gently come on up. We're going to lean over to the right hip. And we're going to bring the left leg over to the front. Okay, both legs in front of you. Bend the knees. We're going to do gentle windshield wipers. So the feet are wide, hip, uh, mat distance. And we're just going to drop the knees, right? And just a couple times. Okay, and then from here, we're going to go into um, shoelace. So... The right leg was in the front at the beginning. Now the right leg is at the bottom. We're going to take the left heel or the left leg and, and stack it on top of the right. Now, if this is not available to you, you can straighten the bottom leg. Actually, let's straighten the bottom leg if it's tight. Okay, and I, ideally, we want to line up the knees. Okay, if you're more open, you can bend both knees and stack the knees on top of each other for shoelace. Okay, so whatever you're doing, you're going to lift the chest up. And then we're going to slowly walk forward. So we're going to kind of just spill the body over the legs for shoelace. Again, go at your own pace and use your props accordingly. Long 
little slow, smooth inhalations through the nose. And long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose. You're just relaxing and softening into the shape. Intense stretch in the outer hip. Notice what's opening up for you. Stay here for three more full breaths. Gently going to come on up, slowly. We're going to, now this time we're going to straighten, let's straighten the legs and let's shake the legs off. So legs long and shake them up. And then going into swan side number two, the left leg is going to stay forward bent and the right leg is going to stretch back. So the other side, the opposite side. Remember, if you need to bring a prop under your left hip and butt for some support, do that. Or maybe a blanket or a bolster. We're going to reach the right leg long and back. So just doing what you can here. Don't overdo it. Less is always more in yoga. And we're breathing. Okay, so let's settle in. Remember, you can amend how intense you want it by how far forward your left shin is away from your hips and pelvis or closer. It's less intense. Okay, so let's stay up here for about Breathing into that right hip flexor. And then we're going to slowly come forward. Bringing a prop if necessary or not. Keep spinning that right hip and buttock forward as much as you can while you're doing this. Closing your eyes and going back to your breath. Long, slow, smooth inhalations through the nose. And long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose.
We'll do this for three more full breaths. into your breath. Long, slow, smooth inhalations through the nose. And long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose. Stay here for about one more minute. As you're ready, we're going to gently come up, stretch your legs forward, and then we're going to shake them out. The next pose is a, a saddle pose. So it's like Supta Varasana if you're used to that. And then bring a prop if you need to. So we're going to come to the top edge of the yoga, or top edge of the mat. We're going to bring the knees together, the feet together, open the feet and the heels. You're going to sit the hips in between heels. Some of you may need to put a block or some kind of support under your hips. Okay, now this is step number one. Okay, if this is enough for you, great. If you'd like to continue further, we're going to place the hands on the feet. If your knees pop up, you can open up your knees right and left. Just make sure they stay rooted. And then we're going to gently walk back. Now this is a step-by-step, -step, nice and slow. So if your knees start to pop up, you have to pause. Okay, right elbow, left elbow. 
Now you just go at your own pace, okay? Maybe you drop the top of the head on the floor and then the back of the head on the floor. This is saddle. So maybe you stay upright. Maybe you go partially down. Some of you are going to go all the way down, okay? And if you are all the way down, you can bring your arms over your head and grab your elbows each other. Pull your elbows down, lift your chest up, and just breathe. Let's stay here for six breaths. Wherever you are, six breaths. And then as you're ready, place your hands on your feet. Take your time. With the help of your elbows, you carefully come up. Okay, good. All right, we're going to come forward, and we're going to sit on the buttocks, and then flip over and lie on the back. So lie on your back. Okay, legs long, arms of your head. Stretch your arms over your head. Reach your legs long. Reach and lengthen. Stretch. From here, bring both legs over to the right. Cross the left ankle over the right ankle. Stretch the arms up. Bring both arms over to the right and grab one wrist. Banana asana. Banana pose. We're going to be here for about one minute each side. So just get into it and start to breathe and luxuriate. So, so good. Nice stretch. Lateral stretch from the left hip to the left waist, up the left rib cage, shoulder, the arm, and then from the hip all the way down the side of the leg. Now you can cross the other ankle on top if you'd like, so you can decide what feels a little bit more of an opening for you, what feels more comfortable. You can play with that which ankle you want to cross and which wrist you want to hang on to. Two more full breaths. And we're going to come back to center. Reach, 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 reach. And then let's bring all the legs over to the left. Cross one ankle. And then arms and upper body over to the left. So the key is to keep both hips and both shoulders rooted down. So you don't want to let the right hip or right shoulder pop up if possible. Okay, and then grab one wrist and cross one ankle and breathe. Banana asana. Tap back into your breath. Take a long, slow, smooth inhalation through the nose. Long, slow, smooth exhalations out of the nose. Two more breaths here. And then slowly as you're ready, we're going to come back to center. Reach your arms over your head. 
stretch your legs long. Bend your knees, gently hug your knees, and we're just going to sort of do a little sacrum half circles. Just kind of releasing the low back. Okay, we're going to do gentle rock and rolls forward and back. Let's do about three of them. And we're going to come up, and we're going to set up for Shavasana, dead body pose. So I like to take a blanket roll and place it under my knees. And then I place the two blocks under each heel, so on the, at the end of the mat on the outside. Okay? And then maybe a pillow, a blanket under my head. So we're going to do just a short Shavasana. But if you want to stay longer, you can. Okay, so just get comfortable and settle in. Close your eyes. And relax. Everybody take a big inhale right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs. Exhale out of the mouth. Let it go. Two more just like that. Inhale, big breath. Exhale. One more. Inhale, big breath. Exhale. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. If you're going to stay with me, we're going to come out. So begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then stretch your arms over your head. Reach your legs long. Reach and lengthen and stretch. Bend your knees. Gently roll over to your right and pause in the fetal position. From here, you're going to gently help yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Any seated position will work. Take a moment to silently thank yourself for taking this time this afternoon to heal your mind, your body, and your spirit, to be humble and grateful toward the effort that you make in your yoga practice, which is in turn an effort to live a better quality of life for yourself and for those around you. Please bring your hands into prayer in front of your heart. Lift your chest, your sternum high, bow your head. Have a beautiful evening. Go in peace. Namaste. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Uh, my name is Stacy. If you have any questions, please address them in the comments below, and I will uh, respond. I will also be teaching tomorrow uh, vinyasa yoga, focusing on stability and grounding at 12 noon Pacific Daylight Time. Thank you so much. Have a great evening.